Adjusting the UI to have a better and more effective gameplay is super important for any game, but I'm going to show you how you can have a really cool UI layout in Lord of the Rings Online. Now, a lot of people actually tend to use a lot of plugins for this stuff, and I'm not going to mention anything about plugins. So this is just going off of the basic default settings within the game itself. But before I can show you this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel so much, guys, and I appreciate all of your support. Now let's go check out the UI settings. All right, so I just logged into the game, and I'm going to show you a couple of different things here. Most importantly, I'm going to show you how you can kind of move around and switch any potential things on your screen and make sure that there are emplacements that you want them. In order to do that, you're going to hit control and backslash. If you hit those two keys together, you're going to have the essentially like the whole system kind of show you where everything is placed. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these because some of these, I'm not even going to lie, you really aren't going to notice like the global broadcast box. But more or less, the thing you're probably going to change around here is your vitals. Now, I will make a super simple tip about this too. In order to essentially work on the enemy vitals, you have to at least click on like an NPC or an enemy in order for that to work. There isn't any like tab for enemy vitals that you can move around only your own or only like your companions vitals escort vitals and all of that but if you wanted to i would definitely recommend you just click on an npc and here you go it shows opponent vitals and that's how you can move that around and make sure that all of that's adjusted so more or less that is how you're going to move everything around like i said though i'm not really going to go over what everything does it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part but if you have any questions definitely leave a comment down below and i will surely get back to you on that once you're done kind of moving around everything make sure that you hit Hit control and backslash yet again and then that'll take that away right off of your screen now the second thing you're probably curious about is how the heck do i increase or decrease some of these icons like the vitals for example i would probably bump up the sizing just a little bit also show off your character portrait a little more too in order to do that you're going to want to hit the settings button right down here you'll hit options from there you'll hit ui settings and then this essentially is going to give you everything that you need to know we're going to kind of go through all of these in a moment but i really want you to scroll all the way down towards the end and this is where you can actually increase or decrease the scale so here as you can tell you can increase or decrease the s score soldier vitals mount display class abilities vitals your vitals Let's see now one thing that i will know that i will not avoid in this video is that yes um if you do scale things up, just know that the UI definitely isn't good for like higher resolutions. It definitely will just more or less zoom in and cause like a lot of pixels on your character portrait, as you can see here. And more or less, it just looks pretty rough looking. I won't lie. But if you can survive that, then good for you. I am someone who I really don't notice this too much when I'm fighting. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me too much. But for some people, it can be a little overwhelming which i definitely understand but this is how you would change some of your vitals you can even increase your toolbar which i probably would honestly i feel like it is a little too small sometimes so it definitely gives you more access to your skills and whatnot and that's how you would essentially increase or decrease the sizing of everything in your ui now let's talk about the toolbar and the toolbar is essentially everything that is labeled down below it holds your skills and some other just quick buttons that you might need to hit so with it here you can actually see like I have my settings on the first slot, I have crafting on the second, third one's the social tab, and so on, so on. If you wanted to change the layout, you could actually go through, they have drop down menus, so maybe I don't want crafting to be my second button. Maybe I want a Lotro store icon instead, and boop, just like that, I just added that in. That's all you have to do to change that. They pretty much have everything that you would need. The only thing that I would really highly recommend that you do, just as a quick tip, is definitely take off your inventory because I feel like these are so useless like I always hit I I don't know anyone who clicks down here to hit their bags especially if you're like me and you combine some of your bags like these four are just literally nothing I'm wasting like potential space to add additional buttons that I might actually click that are just quicker shortcuts I would definitely go through and change out the inventory section I don't think you really need like the online help either I hardly touch that if at all I would highly recommend too that you make one of of those buttons the reward track because that is important for legendary items when you hit around like 45 to 50 you will want to keep an eye out on the reward track it'll give you some good old rewards and quite frankly i always forget 
about them and they get reset every I think three months so it's pretty nice to get some free rewards for basically doing some questing, leveling up your items, and so on. And then also too, if you'd like, you could actually change your floating text. What that means is essentially for like anything that's going to pop up, uh, potentially like some damage that you are hitting upon other people, that will essentially be like a floating text. Anything that pops up on your screen for a short amount of time, most of the time it's combat related like I just mentioned, but that is what the eyes refer to. This is also where you can get a little bit nitpicky with what you want to show on your screen. So for an example, my father, he is very much someone who always has to have his character's name showing. And I quite frankly dislike it so much. It feels like it takes up so much space on my screen. I'm not for it. So you could always go around and deselect any potential names that you don't want shown. Any sorts of titles that come up randomly that's essentially what you can deselect or select if you so choose and you can kind of go through this too and like I said if you have any questions on what any of this means do not hesitate to reach out and then here if you wanted to enable some of the hit effects or like blood or dread all of that you could uh, deselect it here one tip I will say too is that I do like to turn on skill queue and that will essentially show you like what your queue time is for which skills so more or less when you are fighting a mob say that you hit like your number one skill and then it's going to go through and do the whole animation sequence might take a couple seconds to actually perform but you probably have already mashed your next skill and you're waiting on that attack the skill queue will show you what the following attack will be that you have just selected it's super vital for wardens i feel because it'll show you which skills you've clicked and then also will help you a little bit more more with trying to recover if you have incorrectly selected something so it gives you a little bit more recovery time to show tutorial hints off if you are a pro Lotro player. I see you veterans. Another thing I like to do personally is I like to actually hit the check mark to open the external Lotro store. So open it up on a different like web browser essentially instead of like in game. Cause in game, you can't really move your character too much. You can't see much cause it takes up like all of your screen. And if you wanted to show your vital bar is a percentage, you can do that. But I currently like how it is with showing my actual numbers and stats attached. Another thing too that's super important about the UI is that you can actually save down your layout and then make that layout available to any future characters that you make in the future. How you save your UI layout that you currently have is that you actually have to type it in chat and you say slash UI layout save and then you name it to whatever you'd like to say. So here I'll just call it Ooh because that's my character. Perfect. So it said that it saved it in my document. So let's go check and make sure that it will work on a different character. So the best way to do this is if we hit slash UI layout load booth. And just like that, we have our layout as promised. So I definitely am not a fan of this whatsoever. So I'm going to switch back on this character, but you get the gist. And here in miscellaneous, you more or less have some other just small little things that you can definitely utilize. I personally like like the always loot all category and I like to make sure that that's selected but some people aren't all about looting everything so totally fair too and then you can always hit the always accept automatic quests here as well I want to give a couple of other tips for some things that can affect your UI so one thing I want to mention here is quick slot so I think I covered this in my 10 settings you need to know about Lotro video but definitely make sure that you dock bar four and bar five. I always just hit all of these, make sure that they're all horizontal. It works best for me. You hit accept and then essentially you're gonna have two additional quick slots available to you and you can actually change the way the layout is sometimes they're vertical and then you can move them around totally up to you but i just like having those additional two quick slots available at all times no matter what which i don't know why they don't automatically do that for you but that is a super needed tip for everyone to get access to two free available quick slot bars. And last but not least too, I also wanted to talk about the chat. So the chat window is actually a pretty decent section of your UI, honestly. You can change the opacity here if you'd like. You can deselect the IM section. You can change how some of those tells go out that way too. There are other ways that you can more or less work around some of the chat features or not have them if you do not want them. What's really cool here and what I would recommend you all do 
do is to go through this pretty quickly and more or less try to pick out certain colors. So if you want to change how some of the chat looks and you, I don't know, maybe you're like me, I had a thing for purple for a time. So I made sure everything that I put out was always purple when I typed, okay? <laughs> it was so hard to read, but it was a lot of fun. World chat, if you want to change world chat, I would highly recommend a bright pink world chat. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe it's for Barbie. You can also change the size of the font. If it is too small for you, this is where you can increase it. Pretty extreme here. I mean, even this font can't even fit on their little window here, but okay. So this definitely gives you more options of how you can play around with some of like the chat sizes, the font sizes. So that basically gives you a pretty general just idea of how some of the settings within the UI system can help you and better your journey within Middle Earth. If you want some more Lutra tutorials, I actually have a playlist down below for newer players and how to adjust some of the settings to your liking. But I would also suggest that you check out the Lutra starter guide video I have that will actually show you my step-by-step -step process of making a new character and some things that you will need to adjust yourself with in order to have the best experience. And as always, stay weird, weirdos. Yeah.